Guys, it's the last week. The big idea is we can thank God for not giving up on us. Even if we don't give God the attention we should or don't worship Him or spend time with Him, God is always with us. We can thank God for not giving up on us. Are you ready for worship? Let's go. We've been playing with blocks, building towers, and houses. We were having so much fun, but my friend did something he shouldn't have. He knocked over my tower. I'm really mad about it. Should I take his blocks away and knock down his tower too? No? Well, that reminds me of what I've been learning about God. We've been talking about the 10 rules or commandments God told Moses to tell all the people. While Moses was on the mountain getting the 10 commandments from God, all the people, the Israelites, were down at the bottom of the mountain getting impatient. They stopped putting their trust in God and decided to put their trust in something that wasn't real. They had everyone take off all their jewelry and they melted the gold together and turned it into the shape of a golden calf. Then they threw a big party to celebrate and worship the golden calf, even though they knew they were only supposed to worship God. God told Moses to go to the Israelites because they had stopped worshiping God. God was angry and so was Moses. 
When Moses came down from the mountain carrying two stone tablets with the Ten Commandments on them, and he saw the Israelites worshiping the golden calf, Moses was so upset that he threw the stone tablets down and yelled. He told them to worship God only. The people knew they weren't supposed to worship anything other than God. They knew how amazing God was. God had just set them free from Egypt and let them walk across the Red Sea on dry land for goodness sake. But instead of worshiping God, they worshiped a fake cow. That's so silly, right? But even though God was very upset, God didn't leave them. God forgave them and kept leading them. After all that, God still gave the Israelites a second chance. God provided for them and gave them gifts and helped them when they needed help. We make mistakes and we need to be forgiven too. The Bible says we all have sinned. That means we've done things we shouldn't do. Even though we don't deserve forgiveness and gifts from God, we get them anyway. That's called grace. The Bible says God loves us and will always forgive us when we ask. Even if we don't put God first or if we mess up, God is always with us. If God is good at loving us, even when we make mistakes, then I think my friend who knocked down my tower deserves a second chance too. I want to forgive him and give him another chance. We can thank God for not giving up on us. Hey, it's Alex again. Glad to see you. Last week, we learned about Moses getting the Ten Commandments from God. This week, we'll hear about what else happened when he was on the mountain. Let's go! When Moses was on Mount Sinai, the Israelites got tired of waiting and became impatient. He was up there for 40 days and nights. The Israelites were waiting and waiting and waiting. They stopped putting their trust in God and decided to put their trust in a fake God, an idol. They convinced Moses' brother, Aaron, to take their gold jewelry and make something they could worship instead of God. Does this remind you of any of the commandments? It reminds me of when they were commanded to keep God first and not worship idols. They disobeyed God and it made God mad. But Moses asked God to forgive them. So God forgave them and continued to lead them and love them. I wonder why the Israelites chose to worship an idol after all God had done for them. He even helped the Israelites get out of Egypt. God parted the waters so they could walk through the sea on dry land. God did such amazing things for them, and even when they disobeyed, God was still with them. God still loved them, provided for them, and gave them gifts, and helped them when they needed help. Even when they turned their backs on God, God was always with them. The same is true for us. The Bible says we have all sinned, we've done things we shouldn't do. And even though we don't deserve a second chance, God gives it to us. We don't deserve forgiveness and gifts from God, but He gives them anyway. That's called grace. God gives us things we don't deserve. Even if we don't give God the attention we should, or don't worship or spend time with Him, God is always with us. We can thank God for not giving up on us. I had a lot of fun learning about Moses and the Israelites with you. Hope to see you again. Bye! Thank you guys for coming today. Parents, find other lesson materials linked below on our app or our website at discoverdestiny.org. Join us for next week. Bye!